<laughs> Please like, share and subscribe our channel to learn and enjoy our free online educational videos from class nursery to 10. Please click the bell icon to get all new updated videos. Chapter 5 Plants Around Us Plants are living organisms as our body has different parts to perform different functions. A plant has also different parts to perform different functions. The main parts of a plant are root, stem, branches, leaves, flowers and fruits. Plants have two main systems, the root system and the shoot system. The root system, the part of a plant that is below the surface of the earth is called root. Roots of a plant absorb water and minerals from the soil and send them up to the rest of the plant. Roots also hold plants firmly to the ground. There are two types of root systems, taproot system and fibrous root system. Taproot. The taproot has a thick center and grows straight downwards. It may or may not have branch roots. Small hair-like roots grow from the sides of the taproot. These branches are called lateral and side roots. The taproot is quite thick, but it branches much thinner. Radish, turnip and carrots are examples of plants with a taproot. Fibrous root. Some plants do not have a main root. Such plants have thin fiber-like roots of similar size. The fibrous root has many branches that spread out sideways. It does not go very deep into the soil. These prevent soil erosion. All types of grasses have fibrous roots. Rice and wheat are also type of grasses and hence have fibrous roots. Functions of Roots The root of a plant performs many important functions. Roots fix the plant firmly to the ground. This prevents the plant from being pulled out easily or blown by the wind. They absorb water and minerals from the soil. These substances are needed for the growth of the plant. We need the topsoil, the most fertile part of the soil, for growing healthy crops and trees. Roots hold the topsoil and prevent it from getting carried away by strong wind or water. Thus, a tree prevents the soil erosion. Soil erosion is the removal of the topsoil due to the force of wind or water. They store food prepared by the plant. Roots of the plants like carrot, radish, beetroot and sweet potato store food prepared by the plant. These roots are called storage roots. We eat these roots. Roots of some plants provide additional support. Take a look at a banyan tree. Many rope-like growths hang down from its bigger branches. These hanging growths are called special roots. They act like pillars and support the heavy branches of the tree. Special types of roots Water stirring roots these type of roots store water, making it easier for plants to survive long in dry summer months. Pumpkin and gourd are examples of such roots. Propagating roots. Such roots have buds close to the surface of the ground. These buds can grow into new independent plants as in the case of cherry trees and strawberry plants. Aerial roots. You may have seen monkeys swinging on aerial roots of a banyan tree or swings set up on these strong roots. As the banyan tree leaves for a long time, it needs new roots to prop it up and absorb moisture. Such roots start growing from the branches reaching the ground. Buttress roots. These are large roots growing on all sides of a tall tree. They are found in rainforests where soil is poor, so roots do not go deep inside. They prevent the trees from falling over and help them to take in more nutrients. Food storage roots. Some roots also help to store food. Carrot, radish, beetroot, sugar beet, yam, tapioca and turnip are some examples. These roots store excess starch produced by the plants. Some roots, like sugar beet, store food in the form of sugar. Many countries use beetroot and sugar beet to manufacture sugar. Carrots are a rich source of vitamin A and other nutrients. The shoot system. The shoot system of a plant is the part of the plant that grows above the ground. It consists of the stem, branches, leaves, flowers, and fruits. All these parts carry out different functions and help the plant in different ways. Stem Stems perform many important functions for a plant. They help to transform water, minerals, and food to different parts of a plant. They keep plants erect and bear leaves, flowers, and fruits. The stem of a tree is the strongest part of the tree and is known as a trunk. Functions of the stem a stem performs many important functions such as it carries water and minerals from the roots to the leaves. It carries prepared food from the leaves to other parts of the plant. It stores food in some plants. 
Stems of these plant grow below the ground. These stems are called underground modified stems, such as potato, ginger, calcacea, sugarcane, and onions. Cactus stem helps to store water. Leaf. Leaf is a thin, flat, and green part of a plant that is attached to the branch. Leaves are of different sizes, shapes, and colors. It is in the leaves that plants make their food. Leaves use carbon dioxide and water to make food for the plant in the presence of chlorophyll and sunlight. We eat leaves of many plants such as the spinach, lettuce, and cabbage. Green leafy vegetables are good for health. We also use leaves on some plants such as the neem and the eucalyptus for medicinal purposes. Flowers Flower is the most attractive part of a plant. There are different kinds of flowers with different shapes, sizes, and colors. When we think of flowers, bright colors and pleasant smells come to mind. Flowers contain a yellow, grainy, and powder-like thing called pollen. The pollen sticks to the bodies of the butterflies, moths, wasps, bees, and birds that visit flowers to suck nectar. As they move from one flower to another, the pollen gets transported. Water and wind also carry pollen from one place to another. The pollen grains help in the formation of seeds, which grow into buds and then into new plants. The transfer of pollen grains from one flower to another is called pollination. Parts of a flower The basic parts of a flower are pistil. Pistil is the femoral part of a flower. The pistil usually is located in the center of the flower. It is made up of three parts, the stigma, the style, and the ovary. The stigma is the sticky knob at the top of the pistil. Is it attached to a long tube-like structure called the style? The style leads to the ovary. Stamens Stamens are the male parts of a flower. Their job is to make pollen that is needed to make a new plant. Stamens are usually found around the pistil. The stamen is made up of two parts, the anther and filament. While the filament holds the anther up, the anther produces pollen. Petals Petals too are important parts of the flower. They help attract pollinators such as bees and butterflies. We can also see tiny green leaf-like parts at the base of a flower. These are the sepals. They help to protect the developing part. Flowering plants and non-flowering plants. There are two types of plants. Flowering plants and non-flowering plants. Those plants which bear flowers are called flowering plants. Tuberose, rose, bougainvillea, lotus, marigold, and tulip are some examples of flowering plants. Some plants such as ferns, moss, and some cactus do not bear flowers. They are called non-flowering plants. Some plants have flowers only in some seasons such as rose and dahlia, while some plants like bougainvillea have flowers around the year. Flowers in our daily lives We use flowers for decoration and to offer prayers. Flowers such as rose and jasmine are used to make essence. Rose water is used to flavor sweets and also a room freshness. Saffron is the pistil of the saffron flower. Saffron is a lily-like flower cultivated in many areas of Jammu and Kashmir for its kesar or pistil. It is used to flavor many exotic dishes like biryani. Many flowers are used in medicines. Dried flowers such as rose, jasmine, chrysanthemum, and chamomile are used in making herbal tree. People who sell flowers are called florists. The cultivation of flowers for sale in the market is called horticulture. Petals of some flowers are used to make dry colors called gulal during holy celebrations. Tessu flowers are used to make the orange color, while marigold flowers are used to get the yellow color. Dry red hibiscus is used to make a lovely red color. Colorful patterns are made on the ground on special occasions using different colored petals. This is called rangoli. Taking care of trees around us. We must not cut down trees. Cutting down of trees will lead to serious problems like pollution, drought, and flooding. Moreover, trees are a source of food, medicine, wood, and oxygen. It will be impossible for us to survive without trees. Therefore, we should make better care of plants around us. Many parts of forests are being cleared for trees in order to build houses and roads. This is known as deforestation. We should not allow such things to happen around us and try to save the trees. One Mahotsava is a program of planting trees. Trees are planted in large numbers on this day. Many schools celebrate this as a festival. Students plant saplings. Lectures on the importance of trees are also given on this day. Time to relearn. 
A plant has different parts like leaves, stem, roots, flowers and fruits. Plants have two main systems, the root system and the shoot system. Roots of plants hold them firmly to the ground and absorb water and minerals from the soil. The shoot system of a plant is the part of the plant that grows above the ground. Flowers are the most beautiful part of a plant. They have a nice fragrance. Pistil is the female part of a flower. Stamens are the male parts of a flower. We should not cut down the trees. Cutting down of tree on large scale is called deforestation.